What's up? What's good? What's popping? What's cracking? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It's your man Theo Buck. And yeah, y'all already know. Hashtag boycott Black Panther 2. Hashtag recast the Charlie. This is exactly what this video is, but I'm going to dedicate this, this video to the, to the sisters, to the women. Because, see, I know without a woman, a man is incomplete. Without a man, without a woman, a man is incomplete. Without a man, a woman is incomplete. Some of y'all going to feel some type of way about what I just said because maybe your sexual preference doesn't necessarily line up that way. That's cool. That's not what I mean when I say a man is incomplete without a woman. A woman is incomplete without a man. See, at the end of the day, it takes a man and a woman to get together to make a man and a woman. <laughs> so even even if you even if you're a man and you like a man, or a woman like you like a woman. Right. Okay. So I want to send this video out to the women because I got mad love for y'all, mad respect for y'all. And in regards to getting to Chala, I didn't did enough videos by now. I think you know it's perfectly clear the emasculation of the black male. The neutering of the black male, whatever you want to call it. And I know some people feel like with Theo, you don't really uh you don't really put your foot down. I had some when I say put your foot down, you don't care for black women. I've had some people say that, call me self hating. So I did this I'm doing this video today. And y'all gotta excuse me, my wife just did my hair. Well she just uh twist well not twisted. You know, y'all know what I mean if you got locks. And I just recently got went when it got a haircut. So y'all gotta excuse me. This thing is, is getting where it's at right now. But, y'all already know before we begin, if you know me, grow me, sharing is caring. So, we're going to do this video and everything like this. This video, shout out to the sisters. And I wanted to show my women how much love and respect that I got for y'all. So, y'all go, this is how we're going to do this. So, um, yeah, that game, let's start off this way. So, I have my lovely, beautiful wife. Her favorite character is Blade. Shout out to my man Kevin from Fan Plastic Toys. Y'all make sure y'all hit him up. Make it do what it do. Right? Female. Custom. Blade. I call it Switch. I don't like Switch. That's 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 kind of I don't like that. Y'all inbox me with a name for the female. Something, something that something nice. Something not sexist, but something that says female. Y'all help me out with that. But yeah, that's her, Kevin. So, y'all said, with Theo, what are you doing? I'm going to show y'all how much stank I put on y'all. Because if you don't know, you don't know. And it's easy to criticize people if you don't know. You have people come calling you self-hating and everything like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to... So what? That's one. This two. Two. Yes, my love for black women. That's two, right? Okay, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna we're gonna keep this thing going. It's gonna be real, real easy. Y'all be like, damn, Theo, I ain't know you. You got it like that for real. You love black women like that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cause people will tell lies all day long. And see, we know that uh, when it comes to getting to child recast, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know I can't do it without y'all. Oh, um, yes, I plan on customizing some figures. Uh, one figure that I plan on um, customizing, two couple of ladies from WWE, um, Naomi and Carmen. We're going to customize that. Mm -hmm. We sure are. Yes, good Lord. And this young lady, the head sculpt from, from Ghost from Ant-Man. Yeah, we're going to do something different with her. Mm -hmm. Y'all be like, damn, bro. What, how many sisters is that by now? Y'all help me out. How many sisters is that? Three? Three? Three. Keep going. Let's go. We got three sisters. Three women. And no, no, that's not all the women at all. Oh, you want to see the women, period. Okay, well, yeah, y'all keep point, y'all keep count then. Okay. Step four. Five. 
six. Seven. We had seven women. Seven women. And I want to make sure we got this right. Seven women in all. Seven women in all. Three of them sisters, right? Okay, let's keep going. Five minutes. This might be a long video because uh, there's, there's some sisters in here. Misty Knight. Was that four sisters? Okoye. Let's see if this white light makes because I don't know if y'all see this. Let's see what right here. Okoye? Yep. Was that five? Six? We know who that is, right? Yeah, of course we know who that is. That's sure. Seven. Monica Rambo. Yeah, we're gonna keep this thing on going. Yeah, I'll see the start of this. Y'all don't even know who that is. You want me to tell you who head scope that is? It's not boom boom. It's Jubilees. That's Jubilees head scope. Hasbro. This is hot garbage. That's Thunder. That's hot garbage. I'm going to buy me a Beth Phoenix action figure and redo that. I said with six, six women, six black women. Seven, Naomi. Yeah, we're going to customize that. Seven. She Hope. Y'all keep counting. Y'all keep counting. That's going to be my custom Nahanda. Yeah, we're going to do something with that. And if you don't know who Nahanda is, Female black pants. Oh yeah, we gonna keep this thing going. <clears throat> Griot shorty. Anybody got that? We at ten. Griot shorty. Anybody? Y'all got that? This is a storm body that we gotta work on too. National customization. We are gonna do something with her. Yep. Other female. Emma Frost. This is actually Emma Frost's head. I just put on Black Widow's body. Yep. Shane She's sister. Yep. Theo, why are you doing all this? I put love on I put love on the women. Oh god. I don't even want to talk about her. Spider Woman. Black cat. Yup. Black cat. Y'all see how many female action figures this is by now? Yes, it's a lot of them. Why am I doing this? I'm trying to send a message. Hopefully, it's being heard. Hopefully, we getting it. Hopefully, Shane Cheese homegirl. Shane Cheese homegirl. Get the call right now. Uh, my man Kevin. Is hitting me up from Fan Plastic Toys. I don't know how he know I'm up this time of night. But he is hitting me up. And I'm going to see what's good with Kevin. Real quick. We're going to make it do what it do. Yeah, that's Kevin. That's Kevin from Fan Plastic Toys. But we still got you. We still got it going on. Domino. Yep. We're going to keep this thing going. Medusa. Yep. Mm. 
one of the step one out of three of the step for cuckoos. Black cat. Scarlet Witch. Yeah, I call it Scarlet Witch. And no, I'm not getting that other one. Oh my God, look at the door of Milaje. Oh my God. What's going on? What is going on? It's another Storm action figure. I'm trying to go through all these, but um, this is going to be my custom uh, Midnight Angel. When I finish with her. Another door melage. That but Midnight Angel, that's why she has the dead pool head, the lady dead pool head. Number two, out of step for cuckoos. Another black cat customization. Psylocke. Whew. I'm trying. Another Dora Milaje. This from Luke Cage, I think. But she's going to be used for a custom figure. Uh, another Dora Milaje. No, no, that's not a Dora Milaje. That's Nakia. Spider Gwen. Damn, why do you got all these people? Because I'm trying to show y'all something. I'm trying to show y'all something. Rogue. The Invisible Woman. Boom, boom. Yes, I'm doing something different with her. <laughs> the Ghost. This is actually a male in the comics. This is the other Dora Milaje I plan on using to make her a Midnight Angel. See how that go? We're moving right along. My arms hurt because I've been reaching in this bag all day. We at the 12 minute, 24 second mark. I'm trying to make it do what it do. Thor, Sister Angela. <sighs> Thor, Sister Angela. The Black Panther version of Shuri. I'm, I don't know if she's going to stay this way, though. I might make another female Black Panther. With Theo, there aren't any more female Black Panthers. The devil is a lie. Black Panther started in 1 million BC, and I'm not going to be that sexist dude to act like there was only one female Black Panther, only two. Yeah. Spider Girl. Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Now, this is my Scarlet Witch. I'm mean, not Scarlet Witch. Black Widow. I like her. Ironheart. Valkyrie. Great scope of Tessa, by the way. Great scope. Another storm. She-Hulk. Oh, good God, my. I don't even want to say it well. Spider-Girl. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what are we putting this? I don't know. Female? I guess. I don't know. We're going to make it do what it do. You know what? I'm gonna do something with this head. Like I, I'm sorry, DC. I'm taking this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm still going because I got a lot going on, man. Like, oh my god, Spider Woman. Yana Rasputin. The White Tiger. 
Jacosta. You know they got a black spider woman. <laughs> Come on, somebody. They got a black spider woman. I don't even know how to feel about this one. A black spider woman. Yes. It's Peter Parker's granddaughter. I'm just about done. But what was the whole purpose of this video? The whole purpose of this video was to say this. I understand in life that to get things done, men and women have to work together. Another Dora Milaje. MJ from the MCU version of Spider-Man. Yes, I know. MJ is not that person. I know, I know, I know. But I didn't write the comics. I did. <sighs> Silk. Three out of three. Step for cuckoos. Wild Pack. Yep. That's Danny Moonstar, by the way. Spider Girl. Another Spider Girl. I know y'all like, damn, how many Spider Girls you got? Jacosta. How many Jacostas you got? I don't know. Another Rogue. Them a lot of female action figures. They are. So. Why the video? Well, if you were keeping count, you should know I got a lot of female action figures. A lot of black female action figures. So what's the point of the video? The point of the video is this. I understand the significance that women play. The role that women play in our day-to-day -day lives. I understand the significance of having these action figures, the female action figures around the house. I'm a guy. I'm an only child. Always wanted a son. It'd be real easy for me to have action figures here that are all black and all male. It would be. There's quite a few dudes that collect action figures and they all white and they all male. But when we talk about recasting T'Challa, we understand what it is. It's about the totality. It's not just about T'Challa. It's about all of Wakanda. Somebody has convinced y'all that Wakanda doesn't have to include T'Challa. I want y'all to think about this for a second. They killed off in the first movie. Before we even got to the first movie, his daddy died in Civil War. His uncle died in the movie. His mentor was murdered in the movie. His best friend betrayed him and he had to kill his first cousin. Let me say this one more time for the people on the back of the bus. No pun intended to the podcast. But his daddy was killed in the first movie in, in, in Civil War. Before we even got to Black Panther. His daddy was murdered, killed in Civil War. The first few minutes of his own movie, his daddy killed his uncle. Later on in the movie, because we don't know what happened to... I guess would have been his auntie by by the by by uh in Jaka in the Jaka but his mentor Zuri gets murdered how many black men significant black men the king of took the king of Wakanda was murdered and was killed in civil war the guy that should have took his place which is Sion in the comics but they made it in Jobu, and, 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 and I swear they probably was watching Major League when they got, came up with that damn name. But the guy that would have took his place, T'Chaka murdered his brother. The counsel, the, the mentor, the dude that would have stepped in and filled the role for T'Chaka, in the Jaka murdered him. A black man is writing this story. A black man is writing this plot. A black man is writing this tale 
and turning it into another black man who's a senior official who signs off on it. Then the first cousin, T'Challa, kills his first cousin, Eric Kilmar. I don't give a damn if they bring him back. I would like, because Michael B. Jordan is an incredible actor. I don't mean I don't give a damn if they don't bring him back like that. What I mean to say is I don't give a damn if they bring him back. You already wrote that story. You already, and you wrote it, you repeated it. You see this every damn day, and you double down on it. You literally, in a movie and a half, we had more black death, Captain America Civil War, Black Panther, Infinity War. We had more black death on screen than a little bit, and nobody tried to check it. And just for kicks and giggles, because we act like we finna honor the actor, even though Howard has shown us how to do it, even though Marvel Comics has shown us how to do it, the cast, the studio, the producers won't even acknowledge that their fans upset about this character who is to be held in the same esteem as Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent. It took this character forever to get to the screen and just as a matter of convenience, they're going to kill him off and my black women ain't saying nothing. I had a black woman come at me. Sis, let me tell you something. Don't come for me no more. Don't use the Bible as a scapegoat to change it, to, 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 to push your narrative. You black. I'm black. I just showed you how much I invest in my blackness all day, every day. Male, female, old, young. It don't matter. Rich, poor. Where my sister's at? I got black boys crying. Where y'all at in this one? Because see, my daughters can wake up every damn day, come in daddy's room and see how much love daddy has for his black women. They can see how daddy treats his wife, the mother, and know that daddy has love, respect, and admiration for black women. They can look at daddy's toy collection, his comic book collection, his video game collection, and understand at the end of the day, daddy has love, respect, and admiration for black women. Where my black women at? Because if y'all want to know why I'm coming at y'all so hard, because we know that when it comes to black men in America, they ignore us. It's two things working in your favor, my queen. You black and you a female. <laughs> You've been coveted since the slave trade. You have. So here it is, 2021. Angela Bassett, I'm talking to you. The young lady that's playing a Koye, I'm talking to you. Letitia Wright, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to every damn female on that crew. I'm talking to every damn female that plan on dragging their sons to go see this damn movie. Because I get you taking your daughters to go see it. I get that. But you taking your sons to go see this garbage? Where's your love for your son? Where's your respect for your son? Where's your admiration for your son? Where's your concern for your son? And don't just say it's a damn comic book character because if it was, your son wouldn't have been crying. And your son wasn't crying about Chadwick Boseman. Your son was crying about the fact that he felt like T'Challa had died. Did you not make it right? Do you not care? I can say that to you because if and I said it one more. I said it again. I keep saying it. If Danielle Gutierrez, if she passes away, recast the Koye. If Angela Bassett passes away, because I know Ramunda is a lie, recast Ramunda. If Letitia Wright passes away, recast Shorty. You bring in Storm, whoever the actress is is going to play her, she passes away, recast Aurora. The same way you've been recasting all these other damn characters with no hesitation, no excuses, none whatsoever. This might, y'all might think I'm wrong for this one and I might be going too far when I say this. If you a YouTuber,
and you say you want the child to recast, I don't know how you're doing certain things. I don't I don't know how you're doing certain things. I don't know how you're doing videos. I don't know how you're reviewing content. I don't know how you find a different subject to talk about because every day that we go not talking about T'Challa is being recast is another day lost. Let me say it one more time. Every day we go not talking about getting T'Challa recast. Every day we go not doing anything to get T'Challa recast is another day that's lost. Another day wasted. What you doing? You going to review the movie next year? Movie come out next year. You going to review it? Let me ask this question real good. Movie come out next year. You going to review it? You going to tell everybody you like it? Even though you can sit up here and say T'Challa should be recast, are you going to go see the movie? Are you going to review the movie? These are pertinent questions and they need to be asked because, see, you got people that's following you and you need to know that while you talking about T'Challa need to be recast. Because you are. If you go see the movie, your subscribers going too. That's why your subscribers in your inbox talking about they can't wait to see the movie. That's why they're excited to see another black man die on screen. Because while you act like you're concerned about it, you're showing them something completely different. I'm going to be honest with you. Transparent. The ones that subscribe to me, they know I'm not going. <laughs> they know I'm not going. And watch this. They're not going either. You know why that is? They're not going. Because it's about having conviction. Some things you just don't do. And I get it. Some of y'all are young and you ain't been there yet. But all I'm going to say is this. If you call yourself a God-fearing person, you want to talk about conviction? God got so sick and tired of man, he flooded the earth. Got so damn sick and tired of our BS, he flooded the earth. That's conviction. Doing away with people that you love because you mad, they ain't handle their business like they're supposed to. That's conviction. Do y'all find it hard to watch Disney Plus shows anymore? My fellow YouTubers, the ones that want to child recast. Do you find it hard to watch these Disney Plus shows? Is it easy? Because I remember when Rick and Morty had their show and Rick couldn't figure out whether or not he wanted to keep his original daughter, his biological daughter, or the clone daughter. I haven't watched the episode of Rick and Morty since. Real easy for me. Principles. Principles are what have a man like me say to myself, I got to get every black action figure. And if Marvel Legends hasn't created them, I got to make them. Conviction. Conviction to have me wanting to make sure that my daughters don't just see superheroes that their dad likes, but they see superheroes that they can actually relate to as well. That's important. <laughs> My queens, can we do this? Can we get T'Challa recast without you? Yeah, I'm stubborn. But it would be a whole lot better to get T'Challa recast with you. Because if Shuddy needed to be recast, my sisters, I'd be standing there right by your side all day, every day, and twice on Sunday. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Peace.